Hello everybody. Today is a slightly different video as uh, we're not on a computer today, but we're in my lounge at the moment. I thought I'd actually show you some Amiga magazines. Now, if you're into the Amiga, you're probably already aware of this. If you've not, then it's really worth checking out. Now, uh, what I've got in front of me is not an old Amiga magazine. These are brand new magazines that are being produced starting this year. So uh, the first issue was issue one and we've got Amiga Bill on the front page here. And yeah, this is a new UK Amiga magazine that's being produced. Sort of like one of the guys I know, sort of like Ravi Abbott, um, sort of like is really sort of like into the music scene sort of like with the Amiga. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit of this magazine. And sort of like, um, I'm not affiliated at all with the magazine. This is not, I'm not paid at all to sort of like show you this at all. But um, I've been really enjoying these magazines so far and I just wanted to sort of like actually just show them off a little bit. And yeah, so they've got um, loads of different sort of like stuff in here. So we've got a nice introduction and stuff. But uh, you've got some cool sections in here. So uh, it talks about some games. Let's scroll through a little bit. So uh, we've got a frequently asked questions and... Uh, sort of like a review on uh, Fury of the Furies. That was a good game, that was. What other stuff we got in here? How the Amiga helped kill the arcade. Oh, that's interesting. I was a little bit sort of like after all the arcades, I must admit. So sort of like I had Amiga at an early age. Yeah, it's got some guides on how to set up WinUA in here, in here which is really interesting. And has somebody modding a, uh, yeah, putting a Raspberry Pi in Amiga 600. Uh, some may say that's about sacrilege, but uh, but actually, if, yeah, if it's uh, not working, then, yeah, why not um, make use of the case and everything? It's, it's pretty cool. I like I like that, especially the glow. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see that. Yeah, the kind of glowing keyboard. That is pretty cool. And that's by DJ Nest. Awesome. But yeah, it's got some really uh, cool, interesting articles, and I've yeah, I've subscribed to it, and um, yes, yeah, so that's issue one. Um, this is the latest one at the moment, issue four, uh, Snack Attack. So uh, yeah, but kind of got some sort of like uh, any news, recent news, sort of like that's going on in the scene at the moment. Uh, cause obviously, the demo scene and the music scene still uh, thriving very much. Uh, these two guys, sort of like. Uh, uh, Twitch streaming, the Amiga. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of... Uh, I haven't watched these guys before. I'll have to check them out. But I've been watching uh, Graham's channel on Twitch. Uh, he's He's been regularly uh, live streaming Amiga stuff. I'll, I'll probably leave a um, link in the description on that one. Yeah, it's, and obviously some interviews. This is an interview from, well, I think, one of the editors. Yeah, this is one of the editors from uh, Amiga Format. That's... Uh, that's a uh, interesting read. The, the thing with this is that this magazine, I know it's only, um, right, yeah, 54 pages. You have got some advertisements that are obviously sort of specific for you've got the checkmate case and everything. And yeah, you've got some um, adverts and things, but mainly the magazine is really interesting articles. So um, back in the day, sort of like the magazines would be really, really thick and sort of like half of them would be adverts for stuff. It helps pay towards the magazine and everything. Um, I mean, here in the UK, it's 4 99 but obviously you can get a subscription for it and uh, get a little bit of a discount. Uh, obviously, one of the things I had to purchase for it and I had to do it was they do a ring binder for it. And I saw this and I was like, oh, yes, no, I'm a sucker for this. Yeah, merchandise. Um, I've recently seen as well, they, they do a mug, so I'm most probably going to be getting a mug as well. Um, but yeah, so uh, nice 12-issue nice, uh, uh, ring binder. So I'm going to be putting all of these um, in in the ring binder, make, making sure they're nice and uh, neat. And obviously you can store your, your old Amiga magazines into this as well. It's, it's not specifically for Amiga Addict, but also obviously it's got Amiga Addict on the front 
but yeah, it's just a quick video to uh, sort of like just show these off really. I'm not affiliated with them at all or anything, so um, it's just totally independent. And yeah, if you used to enjoy the magazines back in the day for the Amiga, obviously it's it's not the exact same experience as before. You haven't got your cover discs at all or anything like that. But, um, but there's some really interesting articles in these and... It really shows that um, the people that produce uh, this magazine have put a lot of love and care into producing this magazine. And it is it is really nice quality finished magazine as well. Uh, definitely worth worth the money if you're really into the Amiga. There's currently only uh, four issues as of this video so far because uh, they've just started in 2021. But yeah, uh, recommend checking them out. Yeah, that's, that's about it for this video. It's been a bit of a tough couple of weeks uh, lately for me so hopefully I'm going to be able to do some videos but there might be some gaps in videos just to warn warn everybody anyway thank thank you for watching uh, I will see you in another video thanks for watching